हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सास्त्रीयकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विद योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम यू नो थैंक्स गिविंग इज वेरी स्पेशल यू नो इवन एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज गेट टुगेदर टू सेलिब्रेट एंजॉयिंग ईटिंग टर्की आई ऑलवेज यूज टू मेक इट अ पॉइंट टू हैव टर्की फॉर थैंक्स गिविंग वेदर आई मेक इट इंडियन स्टाइल और होल रोस्ट बट टर्की has to be eaten i'm continuing this tradition even though i moved back to india so today i've got turkey but the turkey is so big so i'm going to make a couple of varieties and eat today i'm going to show you how to make stir fry turkey oriental style a lot of people believe turkey meat is not as tasty as chicken the turkey meat is more of red in color the chicken white in color but trust me i've made various preparations with turkey and they're always tasty but you know always the turkey meat is accompanied with nice gravy sauces sometimes sweet sometimes spicy for this first i have taken some turkey you know any time i make turkey i make sure i brine the meat you know i have shown you many times with chicken all you need to do is take the turkey meat just add a little salt and water and leave it in the refrigerator for around 12 hours if you are doing the whole turkey it is better to do it 24 hours that's when your turkey is nice and juicy but when you buy the turkey in the market you know usually the companies they usually do all the required things to make your turkey juicy but you're buying the fresh turkey then you have to follow this method or else your turkey will be a little bit tougher because the turkey meat doesn't have as much as fat as in the chicken so this is very lean and lot of people they consider it to be even more healthy so for this since i've already brined in salt i'll be a little bit careful in adding salt but I'm going to add some fish sauce. This is optional. If you have it, add it, or else you can skip this. Just a little bit of fish sauce. I'm going to add some ginger garlic paste. Okay, just mix this uh, turkey meat with the ginger garlic paste. Add some egg. Half an egg for one pound of uh, turkey meat should be good enough. And also add corn flour around. Uh, one and a half uh, teaspoon of uh, corn flour and just mix this and uh, once you mix this you can you know use it right away or even if you put it in the fridge and use it later it's okay what we are doing is we are just giving a egg coating on the turkey meat so that when you fry you know it still remains juicy and soft now just fry this uh, pieces of turkey in the oil because we have brined already this meat will be nice and juicy Wow. It is nicely fried and it got crispy edges and it is perfectly cooked and uh, this is good nice and uh, tender again i tell you you should brine the turkey you know the turkey is all fried tender all you need to do is little bit coating so that it goes yum yum inside so here i'm going to show you a very simple slurry there can be anything simpler than this just take some chili paste if you don't have chili paste you can also add a little chili powder just add a little bit uh, water to it and in this vinegar just 1 teaspoon of vinegar 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of uh, tomato ketchup you know i use uh, in lot of my oriental preparations this because it makes it very tasty for the my indian taste here is light soy sauce and thick soy sauce be careful do not add too much just a little bit otherwise it will become too salty okay this is your slurry isn't this very easy to make So we're going to keep this on the side. The slurry is ready. Let's go ahead and make our nice stir-fried turkey. Now, pour some oil in a pan. Oil has to be hot. Now, in this, add some chopped ginger, chopped garlic, ha ha ha, and add some brown sugar. That should be good. And uh, just cook this. You know, this uh, sweetness is going to give our turkey a very special taste and believe me it's mouth watering and slowly you will see this uh, sugar melting wow while the sugar is slightly melting add uh, mushroom white parts of spring onion and add the pieces of turkey that we have fried in this add the slurry you know if you think it is too thick you can add some water or stock and this is going to be real quick taste it real good in this add some cherry tomatoes just toss it you don't have to cook this any further the mushrooms cook very fast you don't want to cook this cherry tomatoes that's enough 
switch off the flame and just add some more of spring onion and you have your awesome oriental turkey with a nice sweet tangy sauce i'm telling you this will be the best turkey you have ever eaten look at this this is what oriental style stir fried turkey i'm telling you this nice sweet sour and hot and i'm telling you awesome and awesome this is too hot ah wow perfect mm wow i don't know if you can see this is smoking 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 mm the best way to enjoy is eat it right away because the turkey pieces are still slightly crispy from the coating of the corn and the egg and once you add to this mix it don't waste time i hate wasting time when tasty food is there for you to eat ding dong ding dong mm 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 even after thanksgiving you will find turkey in the meat section so just pick one because this is such awesome dish it will taste little bit like barbecue meat i'm telling you super super tasty wow this is so tasty and yummy if you make this for your kids i'm telling you they're going to say mama no thanksgiving or thanksgiving we want this turkey dish dear friends happy thanksgiving but do not forget Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking.